Today marks two years since the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade and the federal right to an abortion. The justices are poised to release at least one more abortion decision this week or next. News 8's Brittany Noble is on the story with what's ahead and how this could further shape the political climate. Well, abortion is expected to be a key issue in the 2024 election. The campaign says, Biden's campaign says that it's holding more than 50 events to rally supporters around the anniversary of the Supreme Court's Dobbs decision that reversed Roe vs. Wade, paving the way for abortion bans in 14 states, including Indiana. This week, the Supreme Court will issue a ruling in another case related to abortion. The court will decide whether the federal law mandating emergency medical care can override a state's abortion ban that may prevent a procedure to save the life of a mom. The debate about abortion care shows no signs of slowing down. If I have an emergency, my first call would be my lawyer and my second call would be my doctor. The Roe v. Wade uh, and that decision of it being overturned has given the decision back to the people at the state level and every state will look different. I think that's appropriate. After Indiana's abortion ban took effect, a new kind of vending machine was installed at the Dear Mom General Store located on the Near East Side. That offers free health products, including free condoms and emergency contraceptives. Indiana's abortion ban is still facing at least two more court challenges. One is from people who say the abortion ban violates the state's religious freedom law. A second challenge that's awaiting a ruling asked the judge to expand the abortion law's medical exemptions. I'm Brittany Noble, reporting for WISH TV, WISH or follow us on Facebook for updates.